Hello everyone. Today we are going to ask ourselves if these things really work. I mean, can I go from looking like this to like 20 years younger in the matter of minutes? Form X and Form X for the eyes from Peter Thomas Roth. They are supposed to be these temporary face and eye tighteners that are supposed to like dramatically reduce any lines on your face for you know a limited time span. It's not supposed to be a permanent solution, but it's supposed to reduce those lines temporarily. Now my problem areas are my forehead. I have some creases up there, and then I have very light elevances. And then I have some smile lines. The instructions were a little bit confusing. On the pube itself, it said that it should be applied on clean, dry skin, whereas under additional tips on the packaging, as well as on the Sephora website, it said that I could apply it mixed in with either my face creams or even my foundation. So I decided to try it in multiple ways on different days. On the very first day, I decided to try the basic instructions, that is to just apply it on clean, dry skin. I started off with a pea size amount, and as I started applying, I noticed that it was drying really quickly, and I had to go back and take additional product to finish putting it on the rest of my face. I set a timer for seven minutes. As it began to dry, I could feel my face tightening, almost as if I had one of those clay masks on. I was actually expecting very dramatic results, but when I opened my eyes, I was very shocked to find that the product had dried very crusty and almost black and it looked so bad as if it was a surgery scar and I couldn't really tell if I had any improvements in my creases. So I was actually going to do my makeup off camera but why don't we at least just you know do the foundation and the primer. I hadn't exactly understood the instruction about patting away the excess product because I wasn't able to very easily scratch off the product so I just proceeded to apply my usual makeup. I used the poreless primer from e.l.f. and after I applied the primer the tightness and discomfort kind of eased off a bit but the W7 foundation that I really like that was still grabbing on to the crusty patches and the application wasn't looking good at all. Okay, I have finished the rest of my makeup and I am noticing that there are like some patches like, like right here. The foundation has kind of grabbed onto the product and other places it feels like that got smoothed out by the foundation itself. Major dramatic difference, I think, is my smile lines. I feel like I look so tired that I cannot wait to get this makeup off today. It's just awful. On day two, I tried mixing the Firm X with my foundation. I mixed almost equal parts of both and applied as I would usually apply my foundation. While applying, I noticed that the mixture was drying way quicker than my foundation usually would and became really hard to blend and it was resulting in some patchiness. I did have to go over a few parts with just the foundation to kind of even out the application in those areas. This foundation mixture was a little dehydrating and it was accentuating the dry patches I already have. Ah, ooh, ee, ah, um. I think my smile lines are not as pronounced as they get sometimes. Don't know what's going on here. You know what? This lipstick is driving me crazy right now. Let me fix that. I'll be right back. I did notice some improvement in my lines. Overall, it did not feel as uncomfortable as applying it directly on the skin. 
I didn't get any crustiness with this either, maybe because it had spread out more evenly and was in a much, much thinner layer than I had applied the day before. It wore well through the day. It did feel a little bit dry, but not as much that I would want to just take it off. By the end of the day, I couldn't tell if my makeup looked any better than it mm. looks by the end of my usual makeup days. Let me know, you guys, if you are noticing any difference, because I'm not. Peter Thomas Roth, Instant Firmex, take three. <laughs> this time, I also have the Instant Firm XI. It shows pretty dramatic pictures on the box. This day, I decided to mix the Firm X with my face creams. Also, given my experience from the previous time as to how quickly Firm X can dry out other products, I decided to go batch by batch and apply the mixture to only small areas of my face at a time and then moved on to the other. Oh, it's starting to peel and I'm not sure it's supposed to or what. We'll see. It is definitely peeling, if you can see here. So I'm going to let it peel away because not a good look under makeup. Now, the instructions only say to gently pat it away. But if it's going to peel like this, I'm going to peel it away because, you know, I don't want this under my makeup. And it did peel quite a bit. For the Formix Eye, I mixed it with my IT Cosmetics Confidence in an Eye Cream because I was really worried that I would have to peel the area around my eyes and I didn't really want to rub the delicate skin. I applied it with a synthetic brush as it was recommended on the packaging. Initially, I applied the Formix Eye Cream combo to only one side. I did feel a slight tightening as I waited and my skin felt a little bit itchy. But there was a noticeable difference in lines on the Firmix side. Without width. Without width. And here is the before and after of the side we had left bare before. The included information claimed that most people do not get the white crusty stuff around the perimeter of the application. Well, I got it pretty much every time. This time around though, I did wipe away the white crusty patches using a damp cloth. As you can see, you can't really just tap away the crusty stuff. Alright, so I'm done with my makeup application and today I felt like it was a little bit easier to kind of spread my eye primer which could be because there are lesser loose skin and even the application of the eyeshadows felt the same way as if my skin was a little bit more tighter around that area. I feel like when I look up close there is a slight darkness that is showing through my foundation and I'm noticing it here. I'm noticing it slightly around my this eye. Yeah, I'm not noticing it here as much. I'm noticing it slightly here. So I don't honestly know if that's, you know, because of the Firmex or, you know, it's just something that my skin is doing. This has to be by far the most comfortable application because maybe because I ended up peeling most of it off the crow's feet look a little bit less spread you can say as a final test I applied the Firmex on top of finished makeup and kept the Firmex application to only one side so that I could directly compare any results between the left and right I wiped off any of the excess crusty stuff that formed with a wet cotton pad. Yeah, that, you know, just didn't work. Like the dabbing kind of took some of the makeup off and um, yeah, I didn't see much reduction. I don't see any, any wrinkle reduction. And yeah, in this application, I, I, I actually don't see any benefits, even if if there is, I think by now, most of my makeup is taken off 
and I don't even care for a full face, like a full coverage makeup. For those who do, this might be a little too distressing to having to dab their face on top of their makeup. And as I said, as the water tends to evaporate, the crusty white residue seems to be coming back. Besides feeling like a slight stretch in this area, Overall, I'm not sure if these are worth the price for someone in my skin condition or my age uh, because this one retails for $38, the Instant Firm X Temporary Eye Tightener and the Instant Firm, S Firm X Temporary Face Tightener retails for $48. You know, I'm, I am noticing a little bit of difference, but the kind of slight darkness that I'm noticing around my mouth uh, where my uh, smile lines are and around my eyes um, is kind of taking away from the fact that I have less lines. If you're a person who uses full coverage foundation this might not be an issue for you but for me it required too much work. Actually when I was applying my foundation it felt like there was like a slight drag as if my skin wasn't smooth enough. My foundation felt like it was grabbing on to something and that was leaving a slight patchiness. I again used the Maybelline Fit Me concealer today and I noticed that usually I get very very slight uh, creasing under the eyes like I just have creases so the concealer kind of goes in um, so I need to kind of slightly clean up before I set it but I noticed that it's not there today. So that might mean there is a slight reduction in the depth of my lines. But overall, I don't know. Overall, I'm not super positive about it would be the right way to put it. And you know, if, the, if someone is able to achieve results like these, I wish my mom was living nearby and I could have tried this on her. That would have been a good test per se. If you know, that i don't know so yeah for me i'm i'm more like in that meh place with this product all right i hope you like this video and i i hope you find it useful if you have found any other ways to use this product such that it works better please let me know in the comments below if you have any suggestions that you think i should try out do leave those in the comments below as well you need not have tried it you know Overall, I like Peter Thomas Roth as a brand of skincare, but these products aren't working. Alright, thanks again for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave me comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe. If you hit the bell, you'll get notifications for any of my future uploads. Thanks for being with me. Bye.